Half head will fly, thump towards the back and goal square. Pickin with a chance, runs onto the loose ball, feeds it back. Hunter, back to Pickin, snaps across his body. Don't tell me. Back towards the 50. Pickin from behind. Pickin from behind. What a mark. Out, Dudley gets it back. McLean, beautiful kick. Gives McLean a chance. Pickin, oh, Pickin. Pickin, yes. Liam Pickin nails it. How big was that? Away by Morris, Naismith sold a teammate in the trouble, quick thinking by Kennedy, and Franklin was run down. Tom Boyd's got it. Tom Boyd goes long. How will it bounce? The stadium holds its breath. It's a goal. And the western suburbs erupt. All in the last quarter, good kick. Gives Pickett a chance. It's over. It's all over. The drought. The damn wall is busted. It's 62 long years. He misses. But they don't miss out. I'm just happy, man. Like, don't get around the camera. I'm wearing, I'm wearing happy socks, man. I'm, I'm just happy, man. I'm just happy. Nah, but the AFL's like, he fucked. He's fucked, man. Like. The winner of this year's Norm Smith medalist is Jason Johannesson. Um, Pickin should have the Norm Smith wrapped around his neck or, or at least a Gary Ayers medal. If JJ went like full afro and like didn't shave his size, I'd be like, yeah, that's pretty sick deserved of Norm Smith. But um, yeah, sh shave side's pretty good energy, so. But I reckon Pickham wanted JJ to win, like, he, his good boy energies were, pr were pretty good on the weekend. Bernie Vince, good boy level. Good boy, Monty! Good boy, good start, good start. Yeah, good, yeah, same again, same again. Good boy, good boy. Obviously we saw that uh, shepherd that he laid like. He got the handball and he just gave the give. And I did a status about it and he just, and he just went straight wing spam. To pick him up first half. He was, he was very loving and nurturing on the weekend. He was like, heaps pointing at stoppages like, to the young blood, nurturing where to go. Sorry to cut in, but Buddy Franklin is going down into the rooms from the dock. He's taking off his right boot. He was also like letting his teammates have the ball like back and away when he could have gotten like, he, he'd get tackled, like cop, cop the tackle and then give the hands so, so his teammate could run in heaps space and just be carefree and know that he's not going to get harmed or tackled because Pickin, he loves and cares for them very much. He also gave a few good boy pats. Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! That's why he played! Which is pretty sick and um, even to his children, he was just like, he got his medal and he was just like, yeah, good boy, good boy, you're a good boy. Yeah, so basically through these good boy actions, I thought Pickham was putting out to the universe, saying to the universe that, look, I don't want no Norm Smith medal. I just want to enjoy my footy. Because if you enjoy what you're doing, then you've already won. But yeah, his, his good boy energy really spread. Um, he even copped a, a, a good boy pat, which, which was heaps good, man. Like, like opposition good boy pats. He must, he must be doing something or... Pickin can do anything, I guess, but yeah, that's pretty sick. Just some numerology behind Pickin's newfound good boy energy. Three seconds, good point. He wears the number 42 and 4 plus 2 is 6, and 6 is actually, it's actually the number of um loving nature and nurturing others and caring for others, basically, which is what, what Pickin really displayed on the weekend. Also, if Pickin work right, man, he'll just be like Rome, Roman, like... Just roam and full on roam and like in the bot in the screen in the corner. And then next minute he'll just duck the shoulder and take off just like shoo. Just peel peel, just out of there. Yeah, so he'll be like heaps roaming around the pack, just like pointing, yeah, young blood, you go there, you go there, young blood, yep. And then he'll just like duck the shoulder and he'll just be like
Coach staff, wonderful understanding. And McRae, another half volley. Stringer went to ground. McRae follows up. Dalhouse put the head down. Tries to give it to Liberatore. Wide to Picken. I boot to it. Dalhouse played it well. Gave it to Picken. Picken a high ball. Hunter trying to work in front. McVay missed it. Back goes Heaney. Under pressure was Kennedy. Stolen by Picken. Pulls it back to Wood. Well, so I've seen Picken give um what what I call his what what are you bump like when he's bumping someone she's like what are you but obviously he doesn't say what are you but um yeah just let his let his opponent know he's there let let his opponent know he's about to go not to wear with my own oh, yeah. he's as tough as nails so I wrote an article today I've had a beautiful Christmas. day. When we would always try and knock, out, knock the young blokes' heads off, we'd have the taped up tennis ball, the older cousins would pick on the little cousins, and you'd always, they'd always back away to square leg, except for Liam Pickin. Pickin, like, take it, taking it up to Brownie, man, like... <laughs> who does that, man? Who takes it up to Brownie? King Brown, man, like... He's fucking courage, he'll fucking smash you. Not Pickin, though, he's, he's not afraid of... Big brownie. Obviously, Pickens heaps tough, and he's kind, he's kind of that junkyard dog, junkyard dog kind of player. He's just like, just running like an absolute nutter, just chasing after some like Dane Ramphy or some shit, and he's just decking, taking down blokes left, right, and centre, man. It's just like you debate with Pickens, that's what you get, son. You get punished, not a werewolf stuff. Yeah, Josh Kennedy knows it. He didn't debate with Pickens. Pickens was just like, bang, and then. Basically looked and saw it was picking and she was like, nah man, not, not debating with not a werewolf. Obviously picking not a werewolf, night back in, back at, back at the semi-final, like, heaps revving up the crown and all that. That's, that began it all, man. That, that began, it was just typical Friday night finals, doggies footy, and then, oh, obviously, obviously with it being full man and all that, picking just went in complete not a werewolf mode and, but basically changed my life. Running into an open goal from Hunter to Pickham. Yeah, yeah, I thought that bond mark was obviously against Hodgie. Um, night is the night the junior gets out of Dean's head. Right man and Bond and Pell takes a wonderful... Young blood versus old time experience blood was, um, was, was very symbolic of, um, the, the new transition to the, um, to the era of the new dominance of the young blood teams, obviously. We've seen this new dominance begin with the with the doggies taking out the premiership this year. Back towards the fifty. Pickin from behind. Pickin from behind. Pickin's mark though, man, like Bruce was obviously like he's bunging on about Stead played in five grand finals is a great player for Collingwood. Billy Pickin and uh, what Billy used to do was, was just sick. But what I like I like most about his mark was um he j he just gets up, looks around like just, just Roman look, looking around, and then just kicks a 50 metre bomb, man. Like, not even thinking about it. So in that, in that flow, just gets up, living in the now, not, not thinking about, not thinking about the past. In Melbourne, um, after fi finishing secondary school, I come down here to go to university. I started playing at Williamstown. I played there for four years, and I did a pre-season at Collingwood. Um, and got knocked back and then did another one at Western Bulldogs and got knocked back again and then the third time I went back um, Williamstown come up with a proposal to pay I think it was 20000 My salary was 30000 so they covered a huge amount and I got to the club and um, ever thankful for Williamstown doing that. Malachi, yeah, first boy, he was sort of unplanned initially and yeah, he's four and a half now, he's you know, a ball of energy. <laughs> He's, he's having kids, man, and he's he's not even thinking about. Malachi, your first boy, he was sort of unplanned. In that, in that, in that flow, in that now, in the moment. It's just... Kids play footy. I would... Also, young blood Malachi at, at the bottom of the pack there, t typical of the junkyard dog. So, basically, I reckon he'll be playing AFL as that junkyard dog kind of player. They are all no expectations, right, right. but I think that they are the goods. Also, classic. Yeah, righto. Sh shut up, mate. Shut up, mate. Right, right. Yeah, righto. I'm at my parents' farm. Yeah, and also classic country boy going, yeah, d down at my farm and heart. Uh, my salary was 30,000. All over my Facebook and everywhere, so looking over my shoulder the whole time. You know who I reckon is the, is the best junkyard dog, man? Libba. He's, he's at the bottom of every pack, man. Like, and he get, he's got that quick boot to ball, like, just hacks out of packs, just squeezes it, man. It's just. That's sick, man. 
And she's like, random and bloke, she's like, bang. Right in there you go. Him and Tony are just not giving a fuck, man. Fuck it. Also, he and, he and Dale has, have that real romance. Like, uh, but I reckon Dale should bring, bring back the dreadies and they could have, like, Junkyard dog, shave sides, mo, sick mo, slash, um, dreadies. It'd be sick energy, Joe, man. Trust me. Hey. A good description of Libba I've heard is, um, is, is Slack Nang. It's, it's like Slack Nang. He's like got his own style where it's like. Man. And behind the other boy. And their supporters are buoyed as well. You know what I mean? It was given to be like bang, you know what I mean? He's just like, he's so like fucking Nang. He's like. She's so like a name man, she's just fucked. <laughs> oh yeah, it's always good to, uh, to win, a, win the Avenue Ashes Test match. What did you do today? Hey? What did you do today? Made a hundred. Did you made a hundred? Yeah. Beat your face. Oh, fucking Colin Miller. You just bumped him? Bang! Bang! Beautiful! Love your work, man! Yeah, so just name man, like, hat, hat, hat not even on his head at, at the medal presentation and like, Rockstar, peace, peace sign off, and Clay Smith just fucking loving it, man. Yeah, just an egg, slack an egg, man. <laughs> What's this? What are we doing? Good luck for the weekend, Luke. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We love football. Yeah, so obviously he was putting out to the footy gods. I believe in the footy gods. That, um, that he, that he loves, he loves football, and the, the football gods heard him, and they gave Liver the one wish a player could ever ask for. And that is to lift the Premiership Cup. I reckon Caleb didn't play well because the dogs, they have like heap, heaps of energies, man. Um, obviously, I, I haven't said yet, but um, Morris with that 1% king slash, um, slash, slash playing with broken back. And it's just fucking sick, man. Smith sold a teammate in the trouble, quick thinking by Kennedy, and Franklin was run down. Tom Boyd's got it. Tom Boyd goes long. How will it bounce? The stadium holds its breath. Boy well, just picks it up and bombs it from 60, man. <laughs> She's like, that's sick, man. It, yeah, if Caleb played well, obviously they would have had um, Wee Man slash, slash Helmet energies and um, yeah, the energies just would have been too strong. E even for the doggies um, and Bevo and um, yeah, basically the energies just would have gone peel peel and they would just drop their bundle, man. <laughs> Trust me, man. Would have happened. Also, I thought. Jackson McRae on that half half hold flank was just milk, man. Like, j just screwing those left foot chiselers into the middle, man. Like, he just like, he'd, he'd like get up and just turn around and just like fucking chiseler into the middle. Yeah, so basically this. This, this last month of footage has just been heaps good, man. It's just, oh, it's just life, man. It's just life. Oh, I can't even describe it, man. It's just life. Well, you work to one living. But on weekends comes the time. You can do whatever turns you want. Get out and clear your mind. Me, I like football. There's a lot of things around. Line them up together. Team run out, but they can't go. How's the mighty 